Hi geeks and welcome back to I Geeks Blog. This is me Samir and in today's video we will gonna tackle one of the most common and irritating issue or a prompt we get on our iPhone and that is SOS only or no service. Well the problem behind these prompt is the same. We get different words or different prompts because we live in different regions of the world. Well, Apple is known for customizing their iPhone according to the region itself. Hence, we get different prompts for same problem. But fear not because I am here to solve all the SOS only or no service issue present on your iPhone. So before moving forward, let me give you one disclaimer and that is I am only going to be focusing on SOS only prompt that doesn't mean the solutions which I will give to you won't work for no service prompt. So all in all, the problem is the same. The solutions would be the same. Only thing is prompts are different. Okay. So when your iPhone display SOS only prompt, that means your iPhone is not able to make a regular call or send SMS text or use mobile data. Basically, all your network services are just blocked except for the emergency ones. Regardless of your iPhone showing SOS only at the top right corner of your iPhone, that doesn't mean you won't be able to use emergency SOS. But the only caveat is that emergency SOS is only available in USA, Europe, Australia and of course Canada. Now let's understand why your iPhone shows you SOS only prompt. Well, it happens because of multiple reasons. Let me state few of them. First, if you are outside of your carrier coverage area, then my friends, you might face poor reception of the signal. Hence, your iPhone might be showing that prompt. Secondly, weak signals can also raise this particular issue in your iPhone. So make sure you are in a particular area where signal strength is good. Next thing which you need to check is your device and this happens to the older generation of iPhones which might not support today's radio waves hence they might be facing SOS only issue. And lastly you might have an active cellular plan because of which your services are not working on your iPhone. So these could be the reason your iPhone is showing SOS only prompt but let's talk about solutions. First thing which you can do is enable roaming data. So whenever you're traveling outside your usual area, I suggest you that you should turn on data roaming. To turn on data roaming, first you need to go into the settings and from here into the cellular and now tap on cellular data options and from here toggle on data roaming. And remember, some carriers might charge extra for roaming. Next thing which you can do is update your carrier settings. Carrier occasionally provide updates to improve connectivity. Check and update carrier settings manually. And how to do that? For that, you need to go into the settings, of course. And from here, scroll down, go into general, tap on about. And if there is any carrier update available, you might get a prompt over here. Just follow the instruction, install it on your iPhone and you will be good to go. But make sure that you are connected to a Wi-Fi or a valid stable internet connection. Next thing you can do is turn on off your cellular data. Toggling this particular setting on and off may do wonders to your iPhone if you are facing SOS only problems. So I think it is worth a try. So all you need to do is just open control center and toggle off the network icon and toggle it on again. Or simply if you're like me who wants to do things very very quickly, all you can do is just tap on airplane mode Wait for a few seconds and just turn the airplane mode off again. As you can see, our iPhone has started to search for signals. So if this didn't work out in your favor, then my friend, we need to reset our network settings on our iPhone and let's see how you can do it. Firstly, again, you need to go into the settings app. From here, scroll down, go into the general. Again, scroll down till the bottom and tap on transfer or reset iPhone. Tap on reset. Again, select reset network settings and put your password and just tap on network reset settings. So before doing this, let me give you one disclaimer and that is this will delete all the passwords of your Wi-Fi and all the connections you had. So make sure you either back up the passwords or you know them. And still, if you are not get the desired result, then my friend, we need to check for updates on our iPhone as sometimes there is a bug or a glitch which might be solved only with an iOS update. So first, we need to go into the settings. Now scroll down, tap on general, software update and 
here we are with an update if you have any in your iphone make sure you update it asap and even after updating your iphone that particular prompt doesn't go away then my friends i need to tell you that your iphone is just fine what you have could be a network carrier problem which could be only resolved by them so i would request you to contact them get it resolved so that you can use your iphone to its optimum level so there you have it guys next time if your iphone throws ss only tantrum at you make sure you try these quick fixes and if i have helped you make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any crucial troubleshooting videos like this and one more thing go to app store download igb app and enjoy everything apple content on this note this is me samir signing off and i will see you in the next one till then tata see ya bye bye